Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the YouTube channel Learning Light on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see a special data type which is called union in C. So I'm gonna explain what is a union, uh, what are the users of this union, how to define a union, how to create a variable of a union, and uh, you know uh, how we can access the elements or the members of the union. So, first, we're gonna see uh, what is a union. A union is a collection of variables of different data types just like a structure but with unions you can only store information in only one field so to define a union we're gonna use the keyword union then uh, the tag name and uh, a pair of uh, curly braces and uh, you know within this curly braces we need to define uh, the members of this union it is pretty much like a structure definition where you know the only difference is you know we we are having this union keyword here and you know this union member definition is pretty much like a you know declaration of a normal variable so now we're gonna see how we can uh, define a union in our program so first I'm gonna use the union keyword and then the tag name and uh, I'm gonna use data and uh, then uh, we're gonna be using this curly braces and between these curly braces we're gonna define the members of this uh, union data so first uh, we're gonna create a uh, integer variable and let me call it X and then uh, we're gonna create a character variable so let me call it C and now we're gonna see how we can declare a variable of this union data so similar to the structure variable declaration we're gonna use union then uh, the you know tag name which is data then the variable name so this time I'm gonna call it as uh, where so this where is a variable of this union data and uh, when we declare a union variable the compiler is gonna automatically allocate enough storage to hold the largest member of the union so in this uh, declared uh, union this X which is of type integer is the largest member of this union because you know it's gonna take four bytes and uh, this uh, character is gonna take only one byte so you can see here you know this uh, x variable is gonna contain four bytes one two three four and uh, the character variable which is c is gonna contain only one byte and the compiler is gonna allocate only storage required to store the largest member of this structure which is X you know and uh, it just uh, shares that uh, allocated memory with the uh, you know other members of this uh, union so you can see here the character variable C which it takes only one byte you know it's been shared with the memory location of this I you know uh, variable X because of this reason with unions you can store information in only one field either you can store the information in this variable x or you can store the information in this variable c if you try to store the information in both these variables what happens is you know the data will be overwritten and uh, you know the information will be corrupted so now uh, now to demonstrate that you know the compiler only allocates the memory required for the you know largest member of a union we're gonna use the size of operator on this union uh, data so, so I'll be using the printf statement printf then percentage D then I'm gonna be using the size of then union data so save this one execute compile and run you can see here you know the allocated memory is you know 4 which is uh, memory required for this uh, variable x you know, which is of type integer and uh, you know this uh, character variable is you know shared with this variable x so let me close this one now and uh, delete this one and now we're gonna see how we can initialize this uh, union variable where so similar to 
the initialization of a structure variable we can use the dot operator and if you are using the pointer to access the union variable members then uh, you know you need to use the arrow operator here for the demonstration purpose I'll be using the dot operator so it's gonna be where dot x equal to and uh, the integer value so this time I just wanna say uh, around 23 and uh, you know we can only store in the information in one field so now we're gonna print out the you know value store in this uh, union variable so I'm gonna be using the printf function so it's gonna be printf and uh, since this x is of type uh, integer I'm gonna use percentage d and then uh, I'm gonna be referring the variable name which is var and then uh, dot operator then the member which is x so I'm gonna save this one execute compile and run you can see here the value which is 23 is been printed out and now if I access this member C you know this also contains the first byte information of this um, variable X you know let's see what is gonna print so I'm gonna be using the printf function again and uh, since this variable C is a uh, of type uh, character we're gonna use percentage C and uh, I'll be referring the var dot c let me add a uh, new line here and now save this execute compile and run you can see here 23 is the value stored in this variable or the union member x and uh, you can see for this uh, union member c we are getting some garbage value now let me close this one and uh, after this first printf function I'm gonna be now initializing this um, union member C so I'm gonna use var dot C equal to uh, let's say um, yeah so now it's a character save it execute compile and run you can see here now you know this um, union member C contains a value of a but you know if we refer this uh, union member X now you know it's gonna contain some garbage value so you can only store the information in only one field so let me just uh, cut this one and paste it after this um, line save it execute compile and run you can see here now this uh, union member X contains some garbage value 97 and uh, you know this 23 which is the value first we initialized is been uh, you know uh, chained and the value of this union member X is corrupted so let me close this one and now we're gonna see you know where these unions are used so the union are frequently used when uh, specialized type conversions are needed because you can uh, refer the data store in a location with you know different data types so this is it guys this is about the introduction to the union in C thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I see you in the next tutorial.